Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Barner here, Overtime Athletes. I get a common question from a lot of you baseball players, and that's how to throw faster and farther. So if you're a pitcher uh, and you wanna get more velo, velocity on your, actual t uh, on your actual pitch, or if you're an outfielder and want to be able to, uh, you know I mean, put it right at home plate without one hopping it, um, essentially there's a couple things that I focused in on that have been very successful with the uh, the pro baseball players that I've recently been working with where we were able to in one off season uh, I mean these are guys that play at the highest level and through the weight training we were able to uh, increase their velocity on their throw and actually throw farther with more efficiency but not only that it actually transfers over to them hitting with more velocity which obviously equates to hitting further so um, one thing that you need to understand as a baseball player is if you're obviously, you know, you know, and unless you're ambidextrous, you're, you're throwing from one side over and over again, right? So if I'm righty, I'm consistently throwing, throwing, throwing on this side. And the best way that I can equate what your body's doing without getting too technical with it is if you think of a washcloth, think about your body and your torso here being completely rang out, right? So Im imagine you just twisted like this. And basically from doing that, you're developing a series of muscles through your core and obviously on one side of your body through your legs in which that you're uh, creating a muscular imbalance. Um, and why this is important is, and, and what we're trying to do is basically unring you by focusing on movements that are the opposite. So if I'm throwing uh, righty all day, a lot of times what I started off with in the base phase with the, with the athletes, the baseball players, was I started doing the opposite work. And I really focused on structured, perfect form, heavy uh, things such as wood chops, or uh, things such as uh, Russian twists, just things that are going to activate and be able to pull your body back into balance. And by doing this, you're able to create more of a whip with the body if it's more balanced as opposed to it being tight to one side because those muscles are so developed. Now, after that base phase of basically wringing that athlete out and bringing them back into balance so they're not twisted, bringing them back into balance, now I can focus on developing those muscles, but instead of developing those muscles in a fashion where I'm having them throw, I'm going to overcompensate or supercompensate by, by giving them a heavier load and teaching them to explode uh, basically um, through that torso with maybe say a medicine, a heavy medicine ball toss where they're throwing it as hard as they can or some kind of form where basically we're integrating both halves and we're transferring that energy from the lower body because that's where it starts from to the upper body all the way to be able to sling the baseball uh, eventually. Um, a couple other things that I work on, um, same concept uh, is, is true with the internal and external rotators. So what you'll see is the internal rotators are highly developed but the external rotators are pretty weak. So a lot of baseball players need to develop that external rotation on that one side and really focus on the back muscles on that side, um, as well as you know stretching out the pec minor and the lats. Uh, in addition, what I'll do is a lot of, as I mentioned before, a lot of integrated movement. So when I talk about integrated movement, I'm talking about being able to produce power from the lower body, right? So I wanna be able to produce power from the lower body and the leg to be able to transfer efficiently that energy up to the upper body to be able to throw. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do maybe some form of, uh, some form of lunges with a twist, right? So we're working and we're activating the same muscles. It's not the exact same movement, but we're, we're training the same muscles, right? And then we're being able to perform that in a uh, uncompromised position where we're actually focusing on strength. So really there's three things, like I said. First of all, I'll start off unring yourself out and be able to balance out that body 
two, we want to be able to produce power and throw with power, overcompensating basically with a heavier load or heavier resistance, if you will, and exploding, basically performing the same rotational movement that you're going to on that same side. Make sure that you're balancing and doing it on both sides. And then three, really focusing on integrated strength, and that's where we're going to go ahead and perform movements where we start with the lower body and basically uh, essentially do a strength movement, but we're also adding some form of a rotation in it to be able to integrate the both halves of the upper and lower body. I hope that helps. That's how you throw, or that's my approach to how you throw farther and faster for a baseball player. I'll let you next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, go ahead and click this box right over here today. We'll get you signed up for a free athletic course that's gonna teach you how to become a better athlete, whether it be speed, explosiveness, strength, or just pure aesthetics. Go ahead and click that. I'm gonna send it to you and get you started immediately.